Hello! And welcome to Minecraft Pocket Edition. Part 1. So first, let's name this world. Yep. Wald, okay, this is Wald. That's why. This and let's put in the seed. Is what the monarch butterflies Eaten. have to cross. Lake Erie. Eat 100 him. miles across. That now, now. has spent the night roosting All the right. trees. The Looks like we're going to <gasps> No, I'm in creative mode. I'm going to have to go and switch over to survival bodies, in a minute. They, the bubble up here. Okay. They drink okay. nectar from the flowers to get the energy Okay, they anyway, they get we are now lake. back in they survival mode. Let's make sure our difficulty oh, isn't too goes. high. Oh, that's too high. Now, they cross, they'll check the wind. actually, let's bring it down south, to like right there. Keep our difficulty the there. First thing we're gonna have to do is right. focus on the basics and get some wood. With the forests in Mexico being cut down and more and more habitat along the way being destroyed, the monarchs could use a lot of help from us. One thing you can do is plant a butterfly garden. Your own pit stop place for migrating monarchs. Monarchs love to fuel up on butterfly bush and the sea. You can also help monarchs by helping scientists track their migration. Tag a monarch. That way, scientists can track an individual monarch's journey. This monarch's ID is NEC650. Then when you tag the monarch, hold it gently by the leading edge of its wings and put the little tiny tag right on this part of the lower wing. There. The tag's light and won't bother the monarch when she's flying. And if this monarch makes it all the way down to Mexico, okay. scientists may find her. So now that we've got some more, <gasps> exactly Coco. Where she was released and when. You ready to fly? So let's get some of that cocoa since we are actually in the jungle. <laughs> Maybe some of those seeds out there. We could use some of those later, I guess. We'll see on the creature trail. Halloween at PBS Kids is gonna get really Come here. Odd. Come here, you Coco. Sorry, I was silent for a long time. I was kind of distracted by the TV, so I want to go in here. Okay, now I can't be distracted by anything. Okay. Now I'm just going to play Minecraft without any distractions. Okay. So, yeah. This is just part one. And we're going to have to find a place to build our house. Let's see. Should we build it like a... Oh, <gasps> melons. I'll say melons. <gasps> and a sheep. Two sheep. <laughs> They're mine. Okay. So, first thing... Let's try to kill one of these sheep. Because... You know, you have to have wool to make a bed, and you have to have a bed. Ah. Die! Come here. Come here. Yes! And some experience! Come here, melon. Okay. Now I have to kill this here other sheep. Because sheep mean sleep. Sheep mean sleep. <laughs> okay. So anyway, die. Okay, uh, uh let's do it. Okay. Now let's do something else. Like get some more wood. Nah. Okay, let's just find a place to build our house real quick. I think I've already got an idea of what I'm going to do. Yeah, I've definitely already got an idea. We're just going to dig a hole right here for now. That way, if I do have to go to sleep later, I'll just well, do something later. Like, I don't know what I'm going to do. I'll just stay right there. For now, I'm going to have to start building my shelter. First, I want to make a stick. 
First, I want to make some wood. Then, I want to make a crafting table. What's this? Melon seeds. I didn't know you could make melon seeds. I'll have some of those. Just that way, I can plant them later. Now, I'm going to get my crafting table. Wait a minute. Okay. I'm going to get my crafting table. Set it right there. Set it right there. <coughs> Let's see. What does it take to have a cookie? That looks cool. Anyway, I'm going to need a hoe. And make some more of these babies. And have a sword. And, um... I'm going to have to make some more wood planks. And some more sticks to have a pickaxe. And a chest just to store things really quick. Okay. So, let's see. First, let's go ahead and not use our sword, but use our pickaxe. Pickaxe. Wooden pickaxe and start digging a hole right here I'm, I'm going to have to try to get out of this jungle because jungles are not very good places to live okay with my last piece of wood I'm going to well how much stone do I have so far nine pieces I'm going to have to get some more stone before I use my wood to get some uh, charcoal that way I can light up this place a little. I'm not exactly sure how many pieces you need to make a furnace. So, just going to hope that I have enough. Okay, so. Yep, I do have enough. Nice, and I also have enough to make a wooden sword. And a wooden pickaxe. Yeah! So, yeah, what does it take to make a bed again? Takes three pieces of wool. It doesn't really matter, I guess. And it takes three pieces of wooden planks. Three wooden planks. So, I basically have enough. All I need is a piece of wool. Hmm, cool, glycerin melon. Yeah, that's a lot for some glycerin melon. But, anyway, we're not focused on making glycerin melon right now. We are focused on. I'm putting. Hmm. Let's put some wood right there. What can I put wood right there? I don't. I don't want to put stone there. Hmm. Turns out you have to have regular logs to make charcoal. So let's go ahead and cut down some of these jungle trees. And let's use them as um, stuff for our charcoal. We're going to turn you very soon into some charcoal. Okay. Now I have enough. So, no, I don't want to place that. Okay. I'm going to put some in there, just a bunch of those in there. And then I'm going to have to use something as fuel, so I'm going to use these. While they're smelting. Oh, well, I'm going to need them, but I'm going to need some sticks too. But I don't have anything. Brown wool takes cocoa beans and a piece of wool. I don't want to make that. It's just stupid. Why would we ever want to make that? I'm not. I have really, really no reason to make that at all. One day I'm gonna get some glycerin melon. Well, crats! Sorry. <laughs> okay. Okay, anyway, let's make some torches. Uh, no, I don't even have any sticks! <sighs> now I have to go cut down some trees and make some sticks and, and then make some torches. Let's first of all cut down some of these trees. And that's just. I really don't need that much to have some wooden planks, really. Well, jungle wood planks, now that I think about it, because I actually came from jungle wood, so I'm going to have to make jungle wood. But I'm pretty sure you can still make sticks with the jungle wood. Pick as many sticks as it takes. 
now let's make as many torches as we can make. Hmm. I've already ran out of charcoal. Okay. Anyway, let's put some of these torches down. Don't worry, this isn't going to be my home for very long. It's just going to be my home for the warner. The, sec the first or second night, I don't know. We're just going to have to deal with it. Now, we're going to have to make a door so the monsters can't get through and it's night time. Then I think we'll be set. Um, yeah. We'll be pretty good for them. Yeah, so let's go ahead and cut some of these down. And then let's turn them into oh, the, the jungle wood planks, and then let's turn them into doors. Ow. Oh no! Okay. Make a bunch of those, and make a door. Now the monsters can't get in. I wonder how to set it right there. There. Okay, good. Okay. Well, that is it for this time on Minecraft Pocket Edition. And I'll see you in the next episode.